In this video, we are going to talk about the top 15 ugliest cars ever made. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. People are ready to list the best of everything. Things like the best automobiles, best shoes, and other comparable things. Have you ever thought what might make up a top 10 list of the ugliest automobiles? Keep an eye out if you're wondering if this list is true. The ugliest automobiles are categorized by culture and art. It's incredible that someone could be so inventive to create these vehicles. They, too, are deserving of a place on the list. The top 15 ugliest cars ever manufactured are discussed here. Number 15 from 1932 Stout Scarab The Stout Scarab is thought to be the world's first minivan, probably the first aluminum unibody, and unquestionably the first genuinely ugly car. The Scarab's unusual shape is due to a Ford V 8 engine situated in the back and a broad body with no running boards, all of which are quite novel features, but there was no excuse for the Scarab's awful flattened face. The fact that it was named after an Egyptian dung beetle didn't help the car's popularity, and it's no wonder that just nine were produced. Number 14. 1946 Crosley CC Crosley's miniature automobiles were popular during World War II's petrol rationing, and when peace was restored, they were ready with a new model dubbed the CC. It was one of the first production automobiles to feature a slab-sided design without running boards, and one glance at it makes you wonder how the style caught on. The Crosley looked more like a toy than an automobile. With its squished face and small wheels, a new stamped steel overhead camshaft engine sat beneath the toilet seat cover hood, which proved to be every bit as difficult as its container was ugly, and as wealth came after the war, the Crosley was abandoned. Number 13. 1951 Allard P2 Safari There are a few things in life that we just can't grasp, and this is one of them. Who thought grafting the front of a sports car onto the back of a woody wagon was a smart idea? Allard, a British automaker, has done so, and the results are as repulsive as one might think. Estimated production numbers for this Ford-powered eyesore range from 10 to 13, with only five known to exist. The others, we assume, were destroyed by rioters with pitchforks and torches. Number 12. 1958 Ford Thunderbird The Thunderbird was perhaps the most aggrieved victim of a terrible year for styling at FOM OCO in 1958. The 1955 Thunderbird was a neatly styled two-seat roadster with a refreshing lack of chrome gugas. As we all know, in 1958, Ford put a halt to it by replacing the original with this over-the-top, over-decorated four-seat schlock mobile that virtually dripped with 1950s excess. Sales skyrocketed, proving that tastelessness knows no time limits. The graceful lines of the third and fourth generation Thunderbirds, which were actually lovely automobiles, thankfully restored sanity, and the 1958 Thunderbird remains one of Ford's most reviled cars and rightly so. Number 11. 1958 Lincoln Continental The 1958 Lincoln created the impression of taking up as much space as possible for no good reason, with canted headlamps, near-vertical body sides, and the absurd concave treatment given to the front fenders. If you're looking for a good laugh, watch this short film comparing Lincoln's styling to that of the 1958 Cadillac, which isn't exactly a prize. We adore the announcer's contempt for the caddy every time he mentions it. In 1959 and 1960, Lincoln altered the style, making it somewhat worse each time, but the 1961 Lincoln that followed this abomination was one of the division's loveliest automobiles ever. Number 10. 1958 Subaru 360 The Subaru 360, see our review, was designed to adhere to rigorous Japanese K-car specifications, which limited its proportions and engine size. We couldn't find anything in the rules that says an automobile has to be ugly, but to be fair, our Japanese is a little rusty. Few K vehicles from the late 1950s and early 1960s are attractive, but the 360 is one of the most obnoxious, resembling a unique type of sea creature with severe congenital defects. When Subaru began importing the automobile to the United States in 1968, it was dubbed cheap and unattractive in ads. 
Number 9. 1961 Citroën Ami 6. We're used to strange French designs, but the Ami, friend, might be a step too far. The Ami 6 was the first vehicle to feature non-round headlights, and we like the wavy front-end design. The reverse-raked rear window wasn't exclusive to Citroën. Mercury, Lincoln, and the Ford Anglia all utilized it, but when combined with the angled B-pillar. The Ami appears to have its entire greenhouse blown back in a strong breeze. Even the French despised it. The Ami 6 was outsold 2 to 1 by the old 2CV on which it was based in 1962. Number 8. 1965 Rambler slash AMC Marlin. Many people criticize the Marlin as a shoddy ripoff of the fastback Dodge Charger. However, the Marlin actually came out a year before the Charger. And while the Charger had the proportions right, American Motors Marlin got them entirely wrong. The Marlin is notable not only for its ugliness, but also for the fact that it is ugliness from every angle. There is literally no angle from which this car appears decent. See what we mean. Take a look at this photo, this photo, this photo, this photo, and this photo. Number 7. 1968 Lombardi Grand Prix. You wouldn't expect to see an Italian car on a list of the ugliest automobiles. The thought that the Italians could come up with such an egregiously proportioned pig still astounds us. But it's true. This dingy little sports car is from the same land that gave us Battista Farina, Giorgetto Giugiaro, and Gina Lalo Brigida, though we doubt it was very sporty with its 843 cubic centimeters, 47 horsepower Fiat engine. The 1300 Scorpion was created by Abarth, and while the manufacturer did nothing to improve the car's awful appearance, they doubled the horsepower, allowing it to flee our range of vision even faster and for that we are grateful. Number 6. 1970 Marcos Mantis M70. If we were to pick one vehicle as the ugliest in the world, it would be this visual murder scene. The Mantis achieves a degree of hideousness rarely seen on four wheels. Few of Marcos Engineering's cars are especially appealing, but the Mantis achieves a level of hideousness rarely seen on four wheels. From the lumpy lines to the terrible proportions to the unsettling details, everything about this car is off. Number 5 AMC Matador, 1974. The Matador was plainly built as an American take on classic European sport coupes. Yet it is the epitome of American ugliness. I'm fat, slobby, and lazy, and I'm damn proud of it. It has an absurdly bulbous body that houses mechanical parts of the most vapid and insipid ilk, a pushrod V8, a column shift automatic transmission, and a live axle with leaf springs. This clunker from Kenosha encapsulates everything that was wrong with 1970s American automobile design, and the sad part is that it received a claim for it, indicating, to borrow a sentence from the dinner scene in Scent of a Woman, that maybe God feels some people don't deserve to see. Number 4. 1975 Triumph TR7. The Triumph TR7 was a British sports car marketed in the United States. And legend has it that its robust roof pillars and gunslit windows were developed in anticipation of U.S. rollover rules that never materialized. British Leland's objective, according to Richard Porter, author of Sniff Petrol and former senior Top Gear writer, was to develop a car so hideous that the ground would repel it. Fortunately, most TR7s quickly corroded to the point where their structural integrity was jeopardized, sparing future generations from seeing this dreadful triumph. Number 3. 1976 Aston Martin Lagonda. Modern Aston Martins are beautiful, so it's difficult to comprehend how they came up with the Lagonda sedan, which looks so unappealing. It appears to be a Chevrolet Caprice from the 1980s that went four rounds with a rolling pin and lost. If you've ever wondered why this newspaper has been so quiet on the Aston Martin Rapide, now you know. Number 2. 1976 Rolls-Royce Camargue Rolls-Royce claimed the eight-year development of their revolutionary split-level automated temperature management system when the Camargue was unveiled. They appeared to have focused so much on the air conditioner that they overlooked the exterior design. Rolls-Royce entrusted the design to Pininfarina, which must have harbored some post-World War II bitterness, because the result was, well, this. 
The Camarg replaces the traditional Rolls-Royce front end with a ridiculous wide-eyed gaze. While the rear style appears to be influenced by the current European market Ford Escort. Number 1. 1982 Cadillac Cimarron. In retrospect, we know that Cadillac's choice to make the Chevy Cavalier into a luxury car was the beginning of the end for the brand that once proclaimed itself the standard of the world, but let's not get too caught up in the story and overlook how ugly the Cimarron was on the outside. The J-Body wasn't a bad-looking cheap car as a Cavalier. It was trim, modern, and appropriate for the era. No, the Cimarron was a little, chintzy Cadillac that lacked the design elegance and sophistication that one would expect from a high-end vehicle. The Cimarron was pitiful and ugly when viewed through the luxury lens. Which car do you think is the ugliest of all time? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.